This is the 8th video in our ECG video series. ECG playlist link is given in the description. You can watch the playlist in sequence from top to bottom so that you start from the basic concepts and slowly move towards complex topics. In the upcoming videos, we will start discussing advanced and complex topics. So if your basics are clear and revised, it would help you understand the upcoming topics. So far we have seen electrical conduction system of the heart and how electrical signals are transmitted from SA node to AV node and then to bundle of Hays right and left bundle branches and Purkinje fibers. Then we saw net depolarization vectors and their directions as the current moves through different parts of the heart and how these depolarization vectors are correlated to the formation of ECG. We have also seen different segments and intervals of the ECG, different times and speeds normal values of different intervals, the difference between an electrode and a lead, the concept of 12 lead ECG with 6 limb leads and 6 chest leads, cardiac axis and right and left axis deviations. Now let's move forward. Cardiac axis can also be described in degrees, though this is not clinically that useful. Lead 1 is taken as looking at the heart from 0 degree, lead 2 from plus 60 degree, lead VF from plus 90 degree, and lead 3 from plus 120 degree. Leads VL and VR look from minus 30 degree and minus 150 degree respectively. The normal cardiac axis is in the range minus 30 degree to plus 90 degree. If the angle is greater than minus 30 degree and closer to the vertical, left axis deviation is present. If the angle is greater than plus 90 degree, right axis deviation is present. In the next video, we will see the structure of a normal ECG. Like the video if you think this series can prove helpful for you. Subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks a lot.